What's going on, YouTubers? Mac Destroyer, finally back in action. So, uh, are you one of the four people who's actually been wondering what I've been up to? If so, you're in luck, because this episode is going to sum that up for you. Plus, I'm going to show you how you can get one of my new uh, t-shirts. So, uh, stick around and check it out. <laughs> Fancy yourself one of these beauties? Have no fear. We'll uh, get to that. Um. So what have I been doing with myself, you may ask? Well, to start off, I've got a new studio setup going on here, and I am now shooting in 4K thanks to my brand new refurbished LG V20 smartphone. But aside from making videos for you guys out there in YouTube land, I dabble in many other areas of coherence and creativity, such as music, art, literature, and technology. I happen to be pretty good at a couple of these things and offer services for them. Um, those things being graphic design and IT. I design logos, web graphics, print media, t-shirts, sometimes websites. I dabble in HTML and CSS. I don't really mess with JavaScript too much. I also provide a, uh, a bunch of tech services as well, from custom PC builds to PC repairs and virus removal and all that stuff. If the, uh, if the uh, guys in blue and yellow can do it, I can do it. And as far as the past few months go, I have been busy doing all of these very things. I revamped my dad's uh, logo for his welding shop and his website. I also designed a custom logo and website for a local home inspection company. I also a, built a computer for a young man. Right now I'm currently working on some graphics for a friend and fellow YouTuber named Mackenzie. Her channel, Kenzie Copter is what it's called, is filled with a bunch of funny vlogs. You can go check her out by either clicking here or the link in the description. I've been doing all this while maintaining a full-time job and raising a wee lass. I've also been taking some very much needed time to revamp my personal portfolio as well as work on a website for myself, which is basically just gonna house my portfolio as well as the services that I offer so that way people can go directly there and you know, request work from me and such. I'm not really involved with making like entire websites. The, really the only thing I do when it comes to web design is HTML and CSS and I'm decently fluent in both of those things. I recently came up with a pretty clever way to make a responsive website and all responsive website stands for is that it responds to the display that it's on so it will change sizes and shapes of things so that way it will always fit perfectly to the display of it's on. And I did this using just HTML and CSS without JavaScript which is apparently kind of a pain in the ass for people. But I pulled it off and the, the websites aren't very technical at all if you go check them out. Um, they're both the websites that I just made currently for my, my father and for the local home inspection service company, uh, both the websites follow the, the same base principle. It's one big page that houses the smaller pages within it. So it's very easily navigable. You click the little navigation bar at the top there and it just jumps you down the long page to the said page that you clicked on. Nothing too technical, but it is responsive to any size screen. And I mean in infinitely, from the tiniest screen you can put it on to the biggest screen you can put it on, the proportions of everything stay exactly the same. You do start to degrade after somewhere around 4K, because pretty much all the images and stuff only go up to 4K, but after that the images will degrade. But all the code structure, like the, the, the header background and the buttons and such, those really, those really will stay looking perfect, infinitely. But if I were to go through and redo the images in an SVG format, those would scale infinitely as well. Like I said, it's it's really nothing too technical. So as this may not be the best method or practice, it worked for me and it worked for my clients. Well, my client and my father. So about the t-shirts now. This is one of the designs that you can purchase. I made approximately 25 or so designs and they are in a kind of a dual format. One is black, one is white, in case you wanted to put it on a black shirt or a white shirt, but there is an array of different colors that you can put it on from red, blue, multicolored, and um, you can put the images on just about anything you can think of. They have coffee cups, pillows, banners, wall prints, hoodies, t-shirts pretty a, a lot of stuff we'll say so if you'd rather get the design on a coffee cup or a hoodie you can do that 
go ahead and click the link up here or down in the description to go check out my Redbubble page and get yourself a t-shirt or a friend a t-shirt or both. That about wraps up this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Like I said, go check out my Redbubble page. I made somewhere around 25 designs or so. I will be making more. Please be sure to go check out Mackenzie's page, Kenzie Copter, and subscribe to her if you like her stuff. If you're interested in any of the design or tech services that I offer, feel free to contact me either in the comments below or email me directly at knackfort at gmail.com, which I'll place in the description. Thank you very much for watching the video. I always appreciate the viewership. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to keep learning. The next video I think I'm going to do is going to be on how to post your things to Redbubble. Start your own Redbubble account and sell your own kind of t-shirts if you'd like. Thanks again for watching everyone, and you guys have a good one.